Hello Capricorn, this is your reading from May 2020. It'll be the full Celtic cross. I'm looking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. New energies and hopefully positive energies. As you know, this may not resonate with everyone, but I hope to reach the majority. I really do. Let's see what we got going on here. Incoming energy for Capricorn. Ace of Cups, maybe someone wants to offer somebody an emotional new beginning. Maybe you do. Maybe someone does with you. Or maybe you're just wanting this, okay? A subject of hand messages are off. Eight of Wands. It also could be that you're unable to send messages. For a few of you, you may not be able to travel. It has something to do with the Eight of Wands also. It's crossing it. It's making a decision to stay where you're at or go forward again in life with, with passion. You know, like I said, stay with safety nets or go forward with passion. What's crowning you, the goal, is the Ten of Cups. A happily ever after situation. Maybe that's what you're trying to obtain, you know, trying to go for. And maybe you will actually reach that for some of you. <clears throat> Foundation is growth. You want growth in your life and you want beauty, okay? Nothing wrong with that. In the past, you came out of stagnation or you forced yourself out of stagnation. You felt um, in the past that it was getting to you, so you had to change something up. And that has something to do with why you're going for something else or going for a passion or emotional new beginning and going for your happily ever after. Maybe you'll make a decision to do so. Some of you will be dealing with the Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords energy is very, um, it's a, I like the Queen of Swords in the upright. They're very intelligent, um, straight to the point, very honest, um, attractive in, in a very, um, how can I say it, unusual way, you know? And this could be male or female. Remember that. And I will clarify these cards. You know, once I clarify, I can change the story up or add a lot more to it. Plus, I'll be giving you a, a mini love reading. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Adjustment. Adjustments need to be made in your life. You need to work on something to go forward with that Ten of Cups and that um, Empress card. What is coming towards you, the outside environment. Someone has not made a final decision with the Eon. Your hopes and fears, uh, abundance, celebrations, going out to dinner, enjoying your life again with the Three of Cups. In the end, um, someone may be a little defensive or they need to get on top of things to keep people on continuing where they need to go in life. You know, that's the Seven of Wands. I got to make sure what I, you know, I will clarify that. But it's about valor. A lot of these cards look good. So... I'm feeling, and I'm feeling this intensely, that you must get on top of things. Don't give up. I keep on saying that to Capricorn, because some of you may, you know, think about it at times. Let's, let's clarify what the Eight of Wands is, and the Two of Wands is crossing it, okay? Because more information what's going on. Like I said, I'll give you a mini love reading. Hmm. I didn't call this, but... The Emperor dealing with controlling situations and trying to move on from troubled waters. I didn't call it yet, so I'm going to... Well, I did. So, trying to move on from troubled waters, controlling situations from controlling... Over-controlling situations sometimes, or trying to regain control. So, the Eight of Wands in, in reverse. Two of Wands, I need two cards, please. If it's meant to come out again, it will. Two cards, please, for Capricorn. The World card, Karmic Situations, Knight of Cups. You may actually... Someone may actually be helping you. I keep on saying that probably. You're waiting on messages and you're trying to make a decision whether to stay back where you are. Like I said, go forward. It has to do with a karmic cycle. But it looks like someone may offer you something or that you get like a good omen with the Knight of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign, you know. Now, what crowns you, the goal is the Ten of Cups. I need two cards for the Ten of Cups, the Happily Ever After card. Need two cards, please. It's your goal what crowns you. Remember that. Could be a reality. Temperance in reverse. You may be trying to reach your happily ever after and trying to rebalance. It's something that kind of went amok. Someone that, with something or someone you had past memories that you were fond of. 
the Six of Cups. For some of you, you may be trying to reach someone from the past or someone, you know, may do that with you. You could go vice versa. And we got Venus in retrograde coming up, so that could possibly be, okay? Foundation, the Empress in the upright. We need two cards, please, for the Empress. It's about growth. Willing to go the extra mile. There's that Seven of Wands again, but... Wait a minute. You got growth. You can have growth, but you must go forward with it. You must be willing to carry more than usual with the Ten of Wands. And you may not feel like it. You may feel like you can't because there's a Seven of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands tells you you must carry it. Okay, You must be strong. You must do what you need to do for growth. But you may feel like you can't do it. Or some of you may be a little defensive, but I don't think so. I think it's more... Um, Lack of motivation in some way, or you feel like you may not be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish. You know, give up. Something I've asked you not to do so many times. Please don't give up. Got the hangman in reverse, coming out of stagnation, attempting to. Got too many positive cards here, so I'm seeing that you're coming out of uh, hangman mode, you know. So the hangman in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Capricorn. There's that message card again, waiting on messages, page of cups that are of the emotional nature. Like I said, some of you can be dealing with a water sign. I see water and air so far. Um, I don't see a lot of pentacles energy just yet, but the near future is the queen of swords. This person you may be you know, running up against, not in a bad way, because they are in the upright, so I don't see them as terrible or having an off day, you know. Um, queen of swords... Like I said, it could be male or female in, in these readings. But they're very um, straight to the point and honest. And they're usually pretty good at helping people when they need help, when they need serious help. So the Queen of Swords in the upright. I need two cards, please. Two cards for Capricorn. King of Pentacles helping you. Helping you turn your uh, fortune around. I thought so. I thought this person was there to help help the King of Pentacles turn our situation around. The adjustments need to be made in your life, Capricorn. You need to work for it. Like I said, I did see that Ten of Wands, like I, you know, earlier, where you must, you know, go for something. You may make, must make a decision to not give up and keep going carrying what you need to carry to go get your happily ever after. So adjustment card. I need two cards for Capricorn, please. Two cards. It has to do with partnerships, could be love. This, uh, that could have been, it could really be a past love or that you're afraid of heartbreak. You know, that you may have love coming in and that you're afraid of heartbreak. So you need to make an adjustment in your life to not push everything and everyone away, you know, when it comes to the emotional nature. Outside environment, someone hasn't made a final decision on something yet. It's not etched in stone, you know, that someone is feeling or doing that you're, that, or whatever they're doing in life. Yeah, there's a Capricorn. They haven't made a decision on you just yet with the devil in reverse. They haven't made a decision one way or another on the outside in, in this section here. I need another card, please. The moon in reverse. Because they're afraid of hidden things. They're afraid of deceptions. Maybe they're afraid that you'll deceive them. Maybe they're just afraid of life in general. Maybe they just want to stay hidden. But it's like the universe is... Maybe that's why you got to take up the burden if you're wanting somebody back or just someone in your life that you already know or someone that's coming in. Um, you may have to work a little extra hard at it to let them know how you feel. You know, because I don't see this person trusting in the outside. They don't trust anyone I don't think but they haven't made a final decision either to reject you at all it's not that your hopes and fears you may be hoping this person will celebrate with you maybe you're hoping for abundance and love and there's nothing wrong with that I need two cards please for Capricorn two cards Queen of Pentacles yeah you're still trying to come out of hermit mode and you're still not feeling quite like yourself 
you know? But you're definitely wanting to enjoy life, celebrate with somebody, break bread. But someone is afraid of heartbreak. You too. Probably you too. But like I said, you got to go the extra mile. You can't give up because I see you possibly trying to give up. It doesn't mean you will. The, the warning here is if you want to change this situation, because you can always change the path if you wanted to, if it's negative. And the, and the, and the, the warning here is, again, don't give up. Do not give up. You must, you know, strive, push yourself in some way that may make make you feel like it's a burden, you know, in some way. But it's something that you need to do, I guess, to get that happily ever after. So that's Seven of Wands in reverse. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You, you can get wish fulfillment if you don't give up. That's what it's saying. Because I do see you trying to reject something. You like you, you feel like it's not going to work out. But it says if you go for it with wish fulfillment, you get wish fulfillment if you go for it. Whether, you know, mostly relationships I see here. But it could be just about anything. Family members, you know. But it's like you just about reach the finish line and give them what you want. Then you like pull back a little because you don't trust the situation. And neither do the people that you're dealing with. So I see a lot of trust issues here. So it's up to you. Do you want to you know, go with it? Do you want to work with it? Do you want to get wish fulfillment? Blessings? A good omen if you go for what you're wanting? And you can regain all this. But the, the key is, as I've been saying a hundred times, don't give up. Now let me give a love reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. I need three cards for love for May 2020 for Capricorn. New energies and hopefully positive energies concerning love. Ah, some shuffle already. Three cards, please. Let go of control issues. Let go of burdens, too. You know, because I see that you're, you're... I mean, go ahead and work towards what you're needing, but don't... Don't let the world or what happened in your past, or you know, because you did suffer a lot... Um, don't let them override where you need to go. And for some of you, you may be pushing someone too hard, or, or they may be, you know, pushing you too hard. So letting go of control issues in a relationship. Just let it flow naturally, okay? Because um, I do see you carrying burdens. Someone may also even get a little defensive, because I did see that Seven of Wands in reverse. The person you're dealing with very soon or presently, this could be the one, the one person you're supposed to be with, Okay? And there's going to be a possible commitment with engagement. Okay? So, for those that don't give up, this is what could be happening in an emotional sense. If you don't reject it before you get your wish fulfillment. I hope you don't. I really do. I keep on you know, saying that to Capricorns all over. So, let go of control issues. Let life flow naturally. Stop trying to control everything. Go ahead and work for what you're needing. Don't, in my see. What is that? When I see control issue stuff, that means someone may be over controlling or trying to control their environment too much to where something doesn't work. You know, overdo something also. So I need three cards. I think someone was got an accident out there. I gotta check that. I didn't hear a crash. It says let go of control issues. I need another card for that for Capricorn. Sun Moon Rising. And wants to pop out and we'll let it. The high priest let go of control issues. Listen to your intuition, what you need to do. Listen, know what you need to do, you know, to get growth and blessings, you know. Current environment, what could be ha happening soon, the person that's coming in, this could be the one, you know. This really could be the person that's supposed to be in your life. So I need another card for this could be the one for Capricorn. Earth and fire. This is you, or it could be the person you're supposed to be with has a lot of fire in their astrology chart. Earth and fire in their astrology chart. Or this is you with this person that is the one for you. It shows you paired up. Engagement. 
commitment, making the, sort of like a vow, you know, of, you know, taking it to the next level, you know, engagement. I need another card for Capricorn. Ace of Air, a new beginning. A new beginning with the King of Fire. It could be a fire sign or, like I said, someone very passionate, someone very um, attractive, someone very giving, someone that is there for you, exciting. But I do see you starting a new beginning, kind of forcefully in a way. And here it says Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, eight, uh, um, Ace of Air is, 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 is air sign. So, so far, I see all of the signs here and all this reading, but I'm dealing with a lot of Capricorns. Just let know, let, don't try to over control a situation. I'm not saying that you shouldn't um, work towards something, you should, but let it flow naturally. Don't try to uh, sabotage it in some way, okay? And listen to your inner self, because this person, you, you'll, it'll, your, your inner self will tell you this person is the one, because here you are paired up with them with the King of Earth. Neck, taking it to the next level. That's what you're going to be doing. Ace of Air. Ace of Air. A new beginning, like I said. And you are going to be doing this. Um, the key is not to give up. Some of you may feel like it. Um, the person around you may not be sure of you, so make your intentions clear. I did see um, two Eight of Wands. One in reverse, one going forward, where there's messages there. Kind of going back and forth, but something's a little off. So make your um, messages very clear. And you can you could take control full control of your life again, Capricorn. It will take a little bit more time, but it is coming in. The person that's coming in is the one. You're going to be um, attached to somebody or a situation that will lead to the next level in um, relationships, you know, in love and stuff like that. So I'm going to let this go, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.